This is how to boost FPS and reduce input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. You can use these methods to get more FPS, fix FPS drops and reduce input latency in the new Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. But quickly guys, if you want zero ping in any game that you play, then check out the gear up booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes, giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game. So go down into the description and download the gear up booster now. Gear up booster is also used by many pro players in Fortnite such as Asian Jeff, Day and Miro so you don't have to worry about being banned as well. Also America has the largest Fortnite player base making NA servers one of the most crowded servers in the world. So gear up booster will be more useful to American players than players from any other region. The very first thing that you want to do is go down to your start menu and search for percentage local app data percentage once more and then go ahead and open up this folder. Inside of here find the Fortnite game folder, right click click on rename and then just put one at the end of it and then hit enter. This is going to make sure that all of the Fortnite settings are reset so that you can apply the best ones later on. Now close out of this, go down into the description of this video and download the Fortnite Season 3 Optimization Pack. The website does contain a few ads that will be listed there so make sure that you click the right download button and then go ahead and download the pack. Once the pack has been downloaded, simply right click on it and extract it using 7-zip, WinRAR or really whatever you want. Once the pack has been extracted, go ahead and open it up and and inside of here you will find a bunch of files and folders. Go into the first one that is the extra windows 10 optimizations and inside of here you will also find the revert changes folder. If you go inside it you will find that there is only one file but this file is going to revert all of the changes that all of these files combined will make. So if you want to revert all of these changes simply go ahead and use this file. But to apply all of these changes you simply have to double click on them then hit yes and then hit ok. Do the same thing for the game priority optimizations hit yes hit ok and if you want to check what's inside of any of these files simply right click click on edit and everything listed inside of here are the settings that will be changed. You can simply go ahead and copy their name and search them on google to know more about each setting. But these are the best settings that I have compiled for you so simply double click, hit yes, hit ok, do the same thing for the memory management and finally the mouse optimization. Now that all of these changes have been applied, you can simply go ahead and move on to the next step. Go back into the pack and open up the memory dock and this is a software that has been discontinued however it's still really helpful for those of you guys who are running a low end PC. Simply double click on it then hit next i agree next once again and then click on install then hit next once again and run memory dog hit finish now that it has opened up simply click on clean memory then hit yes and it's going to go ahead and basically clean up all of the virtual as well as the physical memory that is working inside of your pc right now make sure that you do this before game and not during the game because it may cause a lot of stutters and also may cause the game to lag or freeze so simply go ahead and use this before going into a game and then launch inside of your game then go back into the pack once more and for the delete log files as the name suggests it's going to delete all of the log files that the windows has compiled up during its sessions that are now there without being used. So simply right click on it, run it as administrator and then let it do its work. It can take some time depending upon the number of log files that you have not only for your apps that were pre-installed but also for your games as you can see inside of here. Once this whole process is finished we are going to be going ahead and removing temporary as well as prefetch files which are useless windows files that have been built up during the usage of different apps and programs and are no longer required by windows. So simply right click, run it as administrator and it's going to go through all of those temporary files and delete them, freeing up not only your storage but also other system resources so that they can be utilized for your games. Once completed, move on to the next step that is disabling memory compression. Now I have made a complete video explaining in depth why disabling memory compression is good and what memory compression actually is. So simply right click on it, run it as administrator and that's it. Once done, press any key to continue and now we can move on to the final step that is the WP d.exe. Simply right click on it and run it as administrator and then let it load up. Now this right here is kind of a all in one utility that has a bunch of features built in that we're going to be using right now. So for the telemetry simply go ahead and disable. It's going to make sure that all of those telemetry services as well as tracking apps and their background services are all disabled. Then moving on to the telemetry IPs as you can see the two settings are available. Simply hit block and now your PC is not only secure but it also has a bit of more performance to be allocated to your games. Then we're going to be going ahead and moving on to the privacy settings and make sure that all of 
of these are turned off. They should be turned off by default when we use that setting, but just go through them and make sure that these are turned off. Also under the advanced and the local policy editor, these are some of the settings that we need to disable manually because these are the advanced settings so it won't automatically disable them. But the allow publishing of user activities, make sure that this is turned off, allow upload of user activities off, enable activity feed off, allow clipboard history. This depends upon your use. If you use the clipboard often then leave it on, otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and disable. I'm also gonna go ahead and disable all of these settings. Once again, if you want the Windows Defender to be on or Windows Defender Smart Screen to be on, it's really up to you but I would recommend turning them off because they use up a lot of CPU resources. For the app permissions, once again go through this all list and turn every single one of them off. So now that all of the app permissions are turned off, we can move on to the services. For this one, the only one that I recommend turning off is the Windows Push Notifications and other than that, just leave them on because these are don't really use that much of resources and I really don't recommend you messing up with any of the potentially usable services. Then for the MISC one, go ahead and scroll down and make sure the show screen provider notification is also turned off and let Windows Track App Launch Improve Start and Search Result is also turned off. For the Windows Update, go ahead and turn them off. And now as you can see that it says that reboot is required, but we will be rebooting our system later. Now go inside of the blocker and make sure that the Windows Defender Firewall is turned on. For the rule set, just set it to telemetry and that's it. For the apps, you can go ahead and delete and uninstall any of the apps that you don't use. I highly recommend that you go through this whole list and delete any of the apps that you really don't want to use. You also have the ability to delete all of the apps. Just make sure that none of these apps are really useful to you in your day-to-day -day work and you should be good. But now that we are done here, simply go ahead and close out of this, close out of this pack, reboot your PC and then launch into Fortnite. You will be prompted to apply automatic settings. Make sure that you decline that option and apply the best settings settings that I have shown in many other videos. But that's gonna be it for this video. If this helped you then make sure to leave a like down below and share it with someone who you think might find it useful. But if you want to get even more out of your PC then go ahead and check out this video right now.